Yeah, afternoon everyone. Um, I'm just going to do a story today. Uh, it does lead up to being in jail uh, in 1991, the first time I was in adult prison, uh, which was Wormwood Scrubs, um, age 21. Um, but I just want to clarify something. The video I've done about Bell Marsh, uh, the SEG and all that, yeah, recently, I just want to clarify, uh, no, I haven't been on House Block 1 and uh, I've been on all the other house blocks and I might have said the nonce spur in the ni early 90s was house block one, I made a mistake. It was one spur on house block two, if I remember correctly, someone corrected me in the comments, so there you go, uh, that's that. But um, like I say, these videos, it's all off the top of my head, it's all from memory and I was on a lot of heavy substances for 40 years virtually, you know, so I'm lucky I've got any memory at all, so yeah, uh, and these things are unscripted. Anyway, yeah, we're going back today to uh, the Laundrette, uh, um, a flat above the Laundrette in Bishopsford Road in uh, Carshorton, back to 1990, 91. So I'm mentioning that because at the time I was up to all sorts. You know, I was doing everything. Um, Pete Marsh lived there, above the laundrette there, uh, in the flat above the laundrette. And to get into the flat, you know, you could go around the back. Uh, so yeah, this is a long time ago. You know, it's over 30 years ago. And uh, so basically, yeah, Pete he used to serve up from there, you know, and uh, there was a lot of good gear around back then. And that was still in the time of, um, McDonald spoons, you know, when it was all measured out with McDonald spoons. But uh, you know, you had Peter there on Bishopsford Road, and then up the road you had little Tony. We lived next to the church. Uh I won't say second name, but you know what I mean. Um and then you had Dean House, you know, down at Mill Green. Uh and then you had Lenny and Julia, Fellows Road, and then you had Chrissy and Wayne at uh Christenham Grove. Um, on Ben Hill, you know, these were the main people that were serving back then, you know, uh, there were probably others, but they were the main guys for that back then, you know, and uh, me, I used to sell a bit back then, but it was mainly um, amphetamines and uh, LSD, but also I did used to do a bit of dark to a few certain people, to close friends, and also occasionally I would um, get gear for people like Pete, if he couldn't score and he wanted a pass or you know I'd run over to uh, Charlie Allen over in South East London there or someone in Deptford you know um, if he ever got stuck but that would be a minimum of quarter ounces and above you know because obviously he used to bag it up and sell it I'm going to pause this for a sec <laughs> 